I'm absolutely confident that credit's going to be flowing again, that businesses are going to start seeing opportunities for investment. They're going to start hiring again. People are going to be put back to work. Uh, what I'm looking at is not the day-to-day -day gyrations of the stock market, but the long-term uh, ability for the United States and the entire world economy uh, to regain its footing. Uh, and, you know, the stock market is sort of like a tracking pole in politics. You know, it bobs up and down day to day. Uh, and if you spend all your time worrying about that, then you're probably going to get the long-term strategy wrong. Uh, now, having said that, the banking system uh, has been dealt a heavy blow. Uh, it has to do with many of the things that Prime Minister Brown alluded to, uh, lax regulation, Massive over leverage, uh, huge uh, uh, systemic risks taken by uh, unregulated institutions as well as regulated institutions. Uh, and so there are a lot of losses that are working their way through the system. And it's not surprising that the market is hurting <clears throat> as a consequence. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, I think what we're seeing is, is that uh, as people absorb the depths of the problem that existed in the uh, banking system, as well as the international ramifications of it, uh, that, you know, there, there's going to be a natural reaction. Uh, on the other hand, what you're now seeing is, is uh, profit and, and earning ratios are, are starting to uh, get to the point where buying stocks is a potentially good deal if you've got a long-term perspective on it. Uh, I think that uh, consumer confidence, as they see the American uh, Recovery and Reinvestment Act taking root, uh, businesses are starting to see opportunities for investment uh, and potential hiring. Uh, we are going to start creating jobs again. One of the things that Prime Minister uh, Brown and I talked about is how can we coordinate so that that all the G20 countries, all the major countries around the world in a coordinated fashion are stimulating their economies? How can we make sure that uh, there are a common set of principles in terms of how we're approaching banking uh, so that problems that exist in emerging markets like Hungary uh, or uh, the Ukraine don't have these enormous ripple effects that wash back uh, onto our shores and we're providing them with some uh, help in a coordinated international fashion as well. All those steps, I think, are going to slowly build confidence. But it's not going to happen overnight. And, and my main message to the American people is to just recognize that um, we dug a very deep hole for ourselves. There were a lot of bad decisions that were made. We are cleaning up that mess. Uh, it's going to be sort of uh, full of fits and starts in terms of getting the mess cleaned up. But it's going to get cleaned up. Uh, and we are going to recover and we are going to emerge more prosperous, more un unified, and I think more protected from systemic risk, having learned these lessons, than we were before. I think President Obama is absolutely right. And I think the history books will record that what he has done in his first uh, well, nearly 50 days of uh, office has been momentous in setting the means by which we can see the economic recovery happening. We, we, we've had a global banking failure, and it's happened in every uh, part, of, part of the world. Uh, it's almost like a power cut that went right across the financial uh, system, and we've got to rebuild that financial system. We've got to isolate the bad assets. Uh, we've got to underwrite the financial uh, system so that loans can start again to uh, businesses and, and, and families. Uh, and we've got to get enough lending into the economy so that uh, people enough credit so that people are able to go about the normal business again. Uh, and that's why we're looking ahead to the G20 in London in April, because a bad bank uh, anywhere can affect uh, good banks everywhere. So we've got to root out the problems that exist in other parts of the world as well, set principles for the banking system uh, for, for, for the future, and make sure that the banks subscribe to lending agreements where they actually increase the lending that is available to, to, to citizens in every country.